have identified the four-year-old boy killed in a crash in Union County today. Troopers with the State Highway Patrol say Angel Guspabo Hernandez fell out of the minivan his dad was driving and then was struck by the moving vehicle. The child was later pronounced dead at a hospital. The child's father, Natividad de Jesus Hernandez, has been charged with leaving the scene of an accident. Troopers say the toddler was not secured in any sort of child safety seat or booster seat. Now, while investigators are still working to determine why that child fell from the moving van, tonight we're working to find out how to safely restrain your kids in your car. Jackie Sprague live with important advice from a local expert. Well, traffic crashes are the leading cause of death among children, according to the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration. And experts say most could be prevented. That starts by making sure your child is properly restrained. More than 171,000 children were injured and more than 1,200 died in car crashes in 2010, according to the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration. What we would hope to do with the, the, the proper child restraints is to reduce that number. And, and try to protect them as much as we can. Ohio law requires children between the ages of 4 and 15 to be properly restrained by either a child seat, booster seat, or seat belt at any time. AAA says not correctly restraining a child can also have other serious consequences. We're looking at neck injuries, possibility of head injuries, and, and broken bones. So it's, it's, it's best to make sure you have them in the proper seat. According to the NHTSA, if your child is under one year and under 20 pounds, the child must be in a rear-facing child seat. If your child is at least one and weighs more than 20 pounds, the child can ride in a forward-facing seat until the child grows out of that seat. If your child weighs over 40 pounds, the child must ride in a booster seat. Boosters properly position the seat belt. Your child must use that booster seat until the child is eight years old or at least four foot nine inches tall. And there are other guidelines to follow as well. They should remain in that child restraint until the adult has the car parked, gets out. If you are caught driving with a child who isn't properly restrained, you could face charges and fines. The severity of those consequences could increase if that child is hurt or killed in a crash. It's the law. They're, they're, they're breaking the law. Now you can find a list of qualified car seat inspectors by going to our website, WDTN.com, and clicking on this story. Reporting live, Jackie Sprague, 2 News, working for you.